Roxy is a rescue hedgehog, and that's why she's out in the daytime. She was close to death when she was rescued eight months ago. Soon she'll be released, but her story is not unusual. It's tough out there for hedgehogs. Yeah, they're still in decline at the moment. I mean, there's a, a big decline. They were thought to be about 30 million back in the 1950s, and now they're thought to be less than a million. So we've got a lot of work to do. But Roxy is here in Solihull to launch an entire conservation area dedicated to stopping, perhaps even reversing the national decline. One of the things we're doing is launching a big citizen science project. So we want people to use our survey equipment to, to help us to find out what hedgehogs are here now. And then in subsequent years, we'll be able to repeat our surveys to, um, to show that we've had influence over the, the numbers and the distribution of hedgehogs in the area. And here's Nancy, another rescue hedgehog, to help us demonstrate the survey equipment. So Nancy has left behind uh, some little inky footprints and that's how you know you've had a hedgehog through your trap in your garden. Or you can borrow from the project some of these high definition cameras and catch them in the act. So right across Surrey Hull people will send in their sightings and also at the same time make their gardens more hedgehog friendly. Like opening up small holes so the hogs can roam free. I think it's sad that it's needed. I think, you know, a lot of people take hedgehogs for granted. Um, but I think it might raise the number of hedgehogs in the area, become a complete success. That would be wonderful. We'll be returning to Soli Hull to see how things are going. If it works, the idea will be tried in the rest of the Midlands. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Soli Hull.